this is the entrance for most of the animals. And some of these animals, we have the buffaloes, red diker, uh, bush beaks, the bush bugs, and some of them, like, uh, we also have the elephants. And then the young animals, like the bush bugs, the, that's the antelope family. They normally come in to do the rock salt licking. And then the elephants, they come in for the same. That is, they chip on the rocks, uh, and then they swallow. You, they collect the the chippings, the, the rock using their trunks. Uh, on this other other part here, the, down, the, the lower part of it, this is where they teach the young ones on how to do the tasking. And then for the older ones, you can see that far. They rather how they reach that far, or they, they task normally that part. And then when the young one sees, at least they also do the same. And then uh, you can imagine how big these elephants are because that is around two meters. It's around yeah, over two meters going up. So the elephants themselves are too big. And then you can see the entrance around here. These animals, though they are big, but uh, they are very flexible enough. Like you can see this space here. It's very small, but the animals, the, the, the elephants have an ability of uh, squeezing themselves. They are very flexible in that they can squeeze themselves and then they get in through here. And then uh, these ones, they are only the, the, the outer part of it, the marks that you see around here, are meant only to train the young ones on how to do the tasking. But they go far to 60, as far as 60 meters deeper to do the, to, to do the rock uh, tasking. Now, they go that deeper because the young ones cannot manage to, to chip this hard rock. But inside there we have a very soft rock that enables that the young ones can easily uh, cheap and then uh, eat. I think that is the match uh, with the elephants. So I think we can proceed in and see uh, the skull that uh, one of the elephants never made it safely out, that it fell into a depression and then it died and the skull, I mean the, the skull remained there and uh, it is still preserved to death. Thank you. Now this is, uh, this is the end of the cave. We are inside. Uh, we are inside Kitum Cave, and this is the far that elephants can reach. They come all the way from the entrance to this point to do the rope tasking. Now you can see the marks on the walls, and uh, this has been their routine for so long. They have been coming here yes, for, for for years. You can uh, you can see that the walls of the uh, the, the the cave was flat but it has really uh, go inside. You can see the, the, the roots, pro, I mean the rocks pro, protruding, like this one is here. These are hard rocks, and then they normally go in for the softer part of it, like this one is here. So they normally chip these ones, they come in large numbers, including the young ones, because this is the softer part that they can manage, including the young ones. I think uh, if you look up here, this one, you can see the marks around here. This one is very hard, and then the other one, the, 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 the older, the, 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 the mature elephants, normally uh, have been digging the upper part of it, and then leaving these ones, because this, this one is very hard, and then the young ones have been digging round or down around the bottom here. So this one has been, uh, has been going on for a number of years. And then uh, on the other far end, you see that it, uh, the, the rock is somehow soft, but unfortunately, it, uh, it, the, 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 the upper part of it flecked down and then it fall. Now for the case of the young uh, elephants, those that uh, their tusks are uh, not able to, to chip the rocks, they simply come this far and then they collect uh, this softer part of the rock. You can see it contains uh, some water and then this one can easily be collected by their trunks and then they are swallowed. So the young ones are brought within this reach. And then again within this far, we also have some water. I think uh, the water just within here, after this, this, these holes that are contained in the rocks, makes them uh, thirsty. So after eating the, raw, the, the, the rocks, they go and drink the water just around here. I think we can proceed and then we can see uh, what the, 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 the water. And then on the upper part of the rock, you can see the, 
there's some marks that whenever they they just trust or they mine, the rock peels itself off without any trouble. And that's why they like, like this one here. We have this other part which is shiny here. These ones are soles. And you can see, here it is. This one just peels with ease, without any problem. Now, uh, still at around uh, 40 meters deeper the cave, at the end of it, you find that uh, this is still the much that the cave, uh, that the elephants still reach, especially the young ones. You can see the droppings are here for the young ones that are helped by their mothers to climb this rock here. And then uh, after eating the softer rock, you find that as it peels, this one is very soft. When they peel it, they just collect it and then they swallow this one without any problem. These ones are the young ones. And then the droppings here are for the young elephants around one year and even less than a year. Now, after eating the rock salt, after eating the rock salt, as you can see the marks, the scratches on the wall, they also get thirsty because it contains some salts and this makes them uh, thirsty. They come and drink the water around here. As you can see, we have the water here. And this water contains some salts. They contain some salts. After eating the salts uh, from those other uh, areas of the uh, of the cave, they all move here to drink the, the water. The waters are very clean and they contain some salts. They are somehow slippery. When you touch it, it's slippery. And then again, they are very cold. This uh, water comes from uh, they, they, they come they come from the underground of the the, the the cave. That is to say that it's very clean, not contaminated in any way. Now that is evident by the footprints that you can see around here. We have the footprint of the elephant, and this is this one's a young elephant, not a grown up. Then you can see the marks here. The marks continues. They come all the way from, the, this is where they come from. This is the region and you can see how steep it is. Very complicated, but the elephants can manage to come all the way to this region. Thank you.